Today I'm practicing some uh, instrument flying solo. It's the first time I've uh, flown instruments since that flight back from Sussex to Dunk as well when I uh, used the X to ILS to do a cloud break. If I ever want to get my full instrument rating, which I do and I need to, to be able to do my round the world trip in a seaplane with the family, I've got to find more time for doing instrument practice. Making time is proving increasingly difficult, but today the opportunity has popped up. So I'm planning to do a solo flight down to Newquay and a hold, a vectored ILS and an SRA and then back. That's the, that's the plan, let's see how it goes. That's not gone well for someone. They're okay. Radio Golf, Lee Michera, clear in the circuit to the south, taxi to approach. Yeah, taxi of traffic, Golf India Echo, entering, lining up, runway 22. India Echo, ruling 22. And November 20, Sierra, departing uh, straight up to the west. Change to X10, two zero zero. I'm actually wanting to see about our final for two two. Just going to keep a good visual look out until I've got the traffic service. There's one final two two at the shoot. Exit to radar, November 1320 Sierra for a traffic service. November 1320 Sierra, Exodus 0416, past details. November 1320 Sierra, squawking 0416, Cessna 182, 1 POB on an IFR flight from Dunk as well to Newquay for some uh, approaches and returning without landing. Um, uh, requesting traffic service and climbing through 3,000 feet to 5,000 feet to QNH 1017, 200. Zero, zero. Zero, 1320 Sierra, identified traffic service, next to QNH is 1015. QNH 1015 and roger traffic service, November 200. Zero, zero. Right, I am under the hood for all intents and purposes now. Golf Lima Sierra, contact extra radar please, now 123 decimal 580. 123580, Golf Lima Sierra. Gliders are up. Golf XLA Charlie, traffic just crossing ahead of you in the 12 o'clock range of six miles, crossing from uh, left to right. There's a twin score helicopter, 2,000 feet. 
Roger, let's inform traffic, go back to the channel. Thanks, Richard. Yes. And to confirm, the final approach track established? Uh, uh, final approach established, go back to the channel. Come on, Charlie Rogers, circuit active, contact exit tower, 119, decimal 805. 119805, go back to the channel. Kingdom 07, contact exit tower, please, on 123, decimal 580. 123, 580. For anyone wondering, when I've got a baseball cap on like this, my peak is completely covering the top of that. I've got peripheral vision, but I am really flying just on instruments right now. Keep the climb going. Space warning, but I'm not going up there. It's a 6,500 feet. I'm stopping at 5,000 feet. flying all three axes at the same time. It really does take all your concentration. Now we are approaching 5,000. I'm going to get up to about 5,100 or 200, then level off, settle down to 5,000. Okay, start leveling off. to look outside the cockpit. Oh my god! Jesus, that scared the life out of me! I did not do my hazel. Checking doors and windows and harnesses. Fucking hell. It's always something, isn't there? Always something. not wind speed. I felt like I was going to rip my arm off. Alright, just fly the plane. Aviate first. Okay, we're straight. We're slightly off track. Let's correct that. Not level yet. Just using the rudder trim to get the ball centered. Feet.
need to get that autopilot on as soon as I can because I keep on losing my track. Okay. Autopilot. There we go, that's the wing leveler on. Just looking at Skydeam again, accurate idea of whether I'm on track or not, because my autopilot heading bug is not centered. I have to indicate 10 degrees right of the desired track for the autopilot. my desired track. Which is two five, it's indicating 250, so it's only the heading bug that's indicating 15 degrees right of track. That's a known error. Right, I'm now going to put the altitude hold on as well, but it's that's pretty shocky, this plane. It gives me plus or minus 100 feet, which isn't really good enough, but I just want the plane to hold itself straight and level for a while. Number 200 Sierra. Number 200 Sierra. Number 200 Sierra. Number 200 Sierra. I've got a call from D&D, &D just asking if any aircraft would be interested in giving them a call just to request a training fix just for uh, their training. Roger, happy to do that. 200 Sierra. Number 200 Sierra, Roger. Uh, I see nothing ahead to affect you at the moment, uh, so uh, if you wish to give D&D uh, &D a call on 121 decimal 5 and then just advise when you're back on this frequency. Roger, 121 decimal 5, 200. Okay. This is weird. Next radar, good afternoon. Golf, Alpha Sierra, Basic Golf, the Basic Service. Indeed, November 1320 Sierra. Truth is, I'm not entirely sure what D&D is. Probably lost for clarity on that. Leonard Center, helicopter 1 1, train fix, train fix, train fix, helicopter 1 1. Heli Center 1 1, London Center, train and fix, acknowledge request heading. Heading 207, helicopter 1 1. Training fix, that's what they want, okay. Center 1 1, your position indicates northwest of Lutterworth by two nautical miles and west of the M1 by two nautical miles. Do you require any further assistance? Heli Center 1 1 requests QDM to Leicester Airfield. Heli Center 1 1, I'm a support controller enabled to provide a steer, but taking your own terrain clearance. Leicester Aerodrome indicates 045 degrees, 11 nautical miles. 045 degrees, 11 nautical miles, that is Centre 11. Centre 11, do you require any further assistance? Negative, that is Centre 11. Please Centre 11, London Centre, change on route frequency. Okay, changing to Eastman's radar, 134.180, thank you, Heli Center 11. London Center, November 1320, Eastman's radar, 134.180, thank you, Heli Center 11. Station calling London Center for a training fix, say again, full call sign. 
November 1320 Sierra for training. Three two zero Sierra London Centre training fix with knowledge request heading heading two five zero degrees November one three two zero Sierra. November one three two at zero Oscar Sierra. Your position indicates Oakhampton. Southeast of Oakhampton by six and a half nautical miles. Roger that location, November 1320 Sierra, and request a QDM to back to Exeter radar. November 1320 Oscar Sierra, say again. November 1320 Sierra, um, yes, your training fix location is accurate, and I'm requesting a frequency change back to Exeter radar on 128 missile 980. November 20 Sierra. November 132 Oscar Sierra, frequency change approved. Change proof November 220 Sierra, thank you, bye bye. Exeter radar November 1320 Sierra, back with you. November 1320 Sierra, sir. Exeter, uh, identified again, traffic service, and uh, Dartmoor Rangers are all cold today. Roger the traffic service and the cold Rangers, Dartmoor, November 220 Sierra, thank you for that confirmation. I did know that the uh, Sky Demon had told me that the Dartmoor Rangers were all cold today. Um, so I was aware of that, but it's good to get that confirmation. Double confirmation. Right, go back to... Uh, 13340. I'm now going to ident my... Starting with nav one. 43 miles out, might be too far. That's more 580, they will have your details. 123, that's more 580, go. far out to identify the nav aids. I'm going to try and see if I can pick up Nucleatus on COM2. 10 kilometers or more, cloud scattered at 1,800 feet, temperature 1,6, dew point 1,2, QNH 1,0,1,5 hexopascals, kilo. Siv, Nuki, airfield information, kilo. At time, 1, 3, 5, 0. Runway in U, 1, 2. Transition level, flight level, 4, 0. Surface wind, 1, 7, 0. Degrees, 6, knot. Varying between, 1, 5, 0. Degrees, and 2, 2, 0. Degrees. Visibility, 10 kilometers or more. Cloud, scattered at 1,800 okay. feet. So we have information, kilo, we've got... Slight crosswind from Romney 14. And that means the hold. Oh god, I oh here they are. I've got them. I drew the holds. So we're gonna go I did both holds so I knew what know what Romney we were gonna be on. So Romney 1 2. So it's a direct join. Hold the Romney 1 2. Put that in front of all three cameras and can see which one gets the best. So we're coming from the right. Which 
join the November Quebec Yankee Beacon. 100 is the outbound track on that beacon. programmed into Garmin. I've got 347. Let's see if I can... That's the beacon identified. Let's try again for the ILS. Have one yet? Just double check for you to one one zero five zero. One one zero five zero. Let's try that two. Still nothing. Sky Echo again. I've got to take it into to the um, <laughs> picked up someone's summer house Wi Fi the iPad. I do want my, I don't need my Sky Echo on for IFR, but I do need it on for cost security. <laughs> November two zero zero four new keys got one seven three three. Squawking one seven three three for new key, November two zero zero. November two zero zero, radar service terminated, contact new key one three three, decimal four zero five, good day. Radar service terminated, contact new key one three three decimal four zero five, November two zero zero, thank you. Lake on 46 here, pop with that intermittent contact, believe to be superior. Hey, so we're uh, VMC, we can't see anything out there. Lake on 46 here, pop Roger. Cossack Juliet, turn to Palsy, back to Pound 4. Cossack Juliet, Roger, if you can uh, give us a call as you get to Travo's head against uh, IFR traffic inbound runway 1 2 to Nikki. Welcome, Cossack Juliet. Uh, Logan 420 Papa, would you like us to intercept uh, from uh, this heading? Logan 420 Papa, AFM on that heading, clear dialers approach, runway 12, QNH 1015. Clear dialers approach, runway 12, QNH 1015, Logan 420 Papa. Radar November one three two zero Sierra squawking one seven three three for traffic service, please. November one three two zero Sierra new key radar identified. What type of service and what type of approach? Uh, traffic service, please, and uh, initially a, a hold um, followed by an I a vectored ILS uh, followed by a, um, a surveillance radar approach. Uh, both go around. Number two zero zero. Uh, Roger. Identified. Report your level. Traffic service. Uh, flight level four nine. I'm at uh, five thousand feet. QNH one zero one five. November two zero zero. Logan four two zero. Papa approaching five miles. Contact tower one three four decimal three eight zero. Contact tower one three four decimal three eight zero. Logan four two zero. Papa. Contact like Julia at Traverse Head. Contact like Julia. Roger. Instructions for me, but it's not okay. So we've still got 20 30 miles to run. 
I have identified... Golf Ticket Julia, for your beacon. transit, contact tower 134, just more... Speed. I have identified the beacon, I haven't still identified the nav, let's try again. Okay, November 20, Sierra, maintain flight level 50, and uh, report your heading. Maintain flight level 50, and heading 250 degrees, November 20, Sierra. November 20, Sierra, Roger. So, we'll take up the hold, which when I get there, so... There's my timer. Uh, Golf Alpha Mike, still on frequency. Uh, happy to go to London to check on that flight plan there, 124750. Golf Alpha Mike, thank you. I'm still waiting for a response from uh, my system, but AFAM, if you can speak to London, uh, 124750. Bye-bye. Yeah, we'll go. It's just this new requirement to get through Cardiff for the flight plan. It's a bit of a nuisance, but uh, thanks for your company, mate, and see you soon, mate. Top of mine, thanks. So when I go over the beacon... So, this is the first time I'm going to try and see if the um, autopilot will do my hold, my hold turn for me. So with a 15 degree error, I, uh, for the outbound track of 100, I'm going to need to put it indicated 115 degrees for the autopilot. Zero Sierra. November 2 Sierra, Sierra pass message. Um, I'm attempting to verify the nav aids. I've successfully verified uh, November Quebec Yankee, but I'm unable to verify on my nav 1 and nav 2 the ILS. I've got 110.50 as the frequency. Can I double check that? November 2 Sierra, Sierra AFIRM, it's 110.5. Uh, 110.5. It may just be my range of 21 miles out, but I'm not yet getting any. Uh, any um, audible ident on the nav channels? Number two zero zero, Roger. November two zero zero, runway one two, ILS does appear to be serviceable from our lights in the radar room. Roger that. Thank you. Two zero zero. UK, never but zero zero. One more question, just uh, double checking if you know the status of Bobman parachute today. November two zero zero. We haven't heard anything about Bobman parachuting today. What is that two zero zero? UK radar, Golf Charlie Delta Echo Oscar, request basic service. Golf Charlie Delta Echo Oscar, UK radar, QNH one zero one five, pass message. 
Cross Ray Cosco, PA 28-4 POB, Paranport to Paranport, Fire Gadrivi, back past New Key Town, back to Paranport, 1300, 1015 for base. Cross Ray Cosco, call 1747, basic service. So, once I'm onto the ILS, 1747 basic. Outbound track will be 290, and then a right turn. New Key Radar, Golf Alpha Sierra, good, Juliet, basic service. Golf Alpha Sierra, good, Juliet, New Key Radar, basic service. Are you routing direct to Paranport? Hey fam, Golf Echo Juliet. Golf Echo Juliet, Roger, report change in the parent pool. Report change in the parent pool, Golf Echo Juliet. I'm going to try and slow down my approach to 100 knots, which means I'll be looking for a 530 foot per minute descent rate. November 200, traffic left, 11 o'clock. Five miles. Traffic looks to be just airborne from Bodmin, tracking southbound in KT 1,700 feet. Roger, traffic not sighted, looking out to 200. November 200, may have to give you another heading away from the field against ISR traffic outbound from Nikki to the northeast. Copy that, ready for instructions. Nikki Golf Alpha X, Ray Sierra Golf, for basic service. X-ray Golf, new key radar, post message. Yeah. Golf Alpha X-ray Sierra Golf, just out from uh, Bodmin, heading uh, Truro via South Coast and Foy uh, at uh, 1,800 feet, uh, request basic service. Golf X-ray Golf, call 1747, basic service, QNH 1015. 1747, Golf Sierra Golf. Current port in sight, frequency change to 119.755, Golf Echo Juliet. Golf Echo Juliet, Squawk, Conspicuity and Free Court and Parent Port, 119.755, bye. Squawk, Conspicuity, 119.755, thank you. Squawk, Conspicuity, 119.755, Golf Echo Juliet, Squawk, Conspicuity and Free Court and Parent Port, 119.755, thank you. Currently, Mr. Proach has climbed 2,500 feet straight ahead. Passing 1,500 or are you? T3, which has led, turn left to return to the Greek at 2,500 or is directed. Okay. Thousand feet against IFR departing traffic. Golf extra golf, Nikki. This up for one golf alpha right here, yeah, golf. Golf extra golf, Nikki. Golf out here, yeah, X-ray golf. Sierra Golf, apologies, uh, got your call sign mixed up. Uh, request not above 2,000 feet against outbound IFR traffic. Come Sierra Golf, thanks. November 200, turn right heading 270 degrees. Turn right 270 degrees, November 200, Sierra. It's 285 on the autopilot. Five degrees too far. Too hot. I really want to take my jumper off. But...
see that there to help it. My chart go. Add on 400 feet to that. Make it 853, which is 500 feet. Yeah. 850 is my decision. I'm not 100% sure I've identified that correctly, but I'm 20, sir. We'll get you turning shortly towards the uh, beacon. That traffic it should be just on the runway departing now, runway 12. Roger that, never, uh, roger that, never, but Yeah, this is best at my inbound. And uh, how many holds would you like? Just one hold, never, but zero zero. Roger. He's messed up my hold entry. Pilot so far doing a very nice job. Slight undulations. ADF needle is turning steadily to the left, which is what you'd expect if we're heading off to the right of it. Good afternoon, UK radar. Two Delta Remy, Delta Remy. Two Delta Remy, Delta Remy, and Nuki radar identified on departure. What type of service? The confliction outside controls, climbing 100 straight ahead to Delta Romeo. To Delta Romeo, Roger, report your level passing. Passing flight level 21 for 100 to Delta Romeo. To Delta Romeo, Roger, resume own navigation uh, Exmoor and climb flight level 310. Direct Exmoor 310, thanks to Delta Romeo. November 20, sir, just continue on that track. One more departure for one way one two. Continue your track, number 200. Right, unexpected. So now, my hold entry is going to be completely different. And until I know what my approach heading to the beacon is, I can't work out what my entry type is. I did practice a brief this before the flight, but only for the expected approach headings. So this is going to put me through my paces. I'm not sure I'm going to get this right. I see I'm coming from the north. Then I reckon that's a teardrop entry. Runway 12, tracking eastbound, uh, 1,400 feet, climb to 5,000. Roger the traffic, number 200, Sierra. Uh, Nuki, good afternoon, rescue 924. Rescue 924, Nuki radar, QNH 1015, pass, pass message. Uh, 1015, set 0105 on board, uh, what pens out this time, really, to, to LISC. 900 feet on that 1015, requesting basic service. Rescue 924, Roger, basic service. Basic service, rescue 924. So 
So roughly a one five zero heading. I think. Two, Delta Romeo, have your joining clearance when you're ready. That's ready. Right. Joining so clearance to Delta Romeo. Two Delta Romeo, Delta Romeo is cleared to join on track Exmoor in the climb, flight level three one zero. Squawk now six four zero one. Controlled in the climb, Exmoor to three one zero. Squawk six four zero one. Two Delta Romeo. Two Delta Romeo, correct. Nikki Radar, Golf Bravo Sierra, Charlie Sierra. Golf Bravo Sierra, Charlie Sierra, Nikki Radar, identified on departure. What type of service? A basic service, Golf Charlie Sierra. Golf Charlie Sierra, Roger. Basic service. Basic service, Golf Charlie Sierra. Right. Nikki, Golf Echo Oscars, north of Beam, uh, parent port for New Key Town. Golf Echo Oscar, Roger. Report turning at Nikki. We'll go, Golf Echo Oscar. Golf Dada Romeo, turn left heading 360 degrees. Dada Romeo, please be spurious traffic in your 12 o'clock range of 8 So we're going to do one minute. Turn left heading 360 degrees. Okay, 360, 2 Delta Romeo. Once you go over the beacon. To Delta Romeo, uh, further traffic north of you. Six miles, turn right, heading there we are. six zero degrees. Zero six zero to Delta Romeo. One minute on this heading. And then I turn Oscar, Oscar, remain on this frequency. Left to my inbound heading two eight zero. Which would be two nine zero on the heading bug. After one minute. Mike, do you give a post message? Golf Charlie Echo Yankee Mike, RV6 just uplifted. Oh. Presently at Delapool, 2,000 feet in climbing, 1016, and I can just walk 1747 for you. Golf Yankee Mike, we'll just walk 1747 basic service. 1747 basic service, Golf Yankee Mike. November 20 Sierra, about to start my inbound turn on inbound track to take up the hold. November 20 Sierra, Roger, maintain flight level 50 until it drives. Report beacon outbound. Uh, to Delta Romeo, contact. Uh, okay. London on 135, just on 150. London on 135, 150. Thanks to Delta Romeo. Remain five zero five zero and report beginning outbound November two zero zero. Come on, baby. How did I do? No, keep going a bit more. Yeah, I have to turn a bit past 280 to get on the inbound.
Gulf Air Press, right here, Gulf Air Press, right here, Gulf Air Press, right here, Gulf Air Press, Gulf Air Gulf Air Press, right here, Gulf Air Press, right here, Gulf Air Press, right here, Gulf Air Gulf Air turning New Town. Gulf Air Gulf Roger. Traffic is. Uh, the circuit is active, it's north side of the Nuki um, centre line. Roger, go for it. Just learned something out there with the autopilot doing turns. If you turn it past 180 degrees, it stops the turn. The number 200, is this for touch and go or low approach? Low approach, 200. Approaching waypoint, so we're now going to be turning 110. So is that needle flipped, which it has? So 110. Right, Nikki, Golf Air Fan Pulse inside, 119755. Golf Air Cosco, Roger, 7000, bye bye. 7000, bye, Golf Air Cosco. That's the wind corrections I haven't done. QP, Gulf Yankee Mike. Uh, we'd like to transit down the south coast if that's possible. Gulf Yankee Mike, Roger, report at Travolve. Report Travolve, Yankee Mike. Gulf Yankee Mike, uh, report your aircraft type again. Vans RV6. Roger, thanks. I dented on nav one. Ah, uh, stop my work. I need another timer. Coast Guard 924 is a basic service, however, there is traffic just left at 12 o'clock. Uh, uh, for three miles crossing right. Use my phone. No level information. Copy the traffic, thanks for looking. And the uh, rescue 924 is. Yeah, but my track is perfect. 100 degrees, 101 degrees. Rescue 924, Roger. Golf Yankee Mike, for your transit, Stop. contact tower frequency 134 to small 380. Tower 134, ADF timer is a bit glitchy, it's on as it sets itself on its own. November 200, report beacon outbound. Report beacon outbound, November 200, sorry, I am beacon outbound, I have been for a while. November 200, you're outbound for runway 30, runway 12. Oh, forgive me, misunderstood the instructions. I'm inbound to the, to, returning to the beacon for one more hold and then we'll be outbound, sorry. November 200, roger. This is why we practice. Roger, any fun. Oh dear. Oh, 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, my radio call has distracted me from making my turn in time. Report beacon outbound for the ILS procedure is what he meant. Now no. Oh, this practicing is just so... So valuable. So much better than trying to learn my theory. You don't know what you don't know unless you actually do it. Arguably makes it slightly riskier, but So what's my beacon outbound track? It to be two nine zero. Uh, 
Oh, of course, that's why the wind is from the south and it's... I get it. on if I can. I have to say the autopilot holding my heading at altitude has made this much, much more doable. Allow me more time to concentrate on the task at hand. Right, approaching the beacon to set track 290 outbound. November 2 0 Sierra, beacon outbound. November 2 0 Sierra, roger. and you're reaching direct temples now, Ava. Affirm. Go, thank you, Mike. And uh, you happy for me to change now? Go, thank you, Mike. Uh, Affirm, Scott, Call Security, and free call, Pramples 119755. Scott, Call Security, and uh, call Pramples 119755. Thanks so much. November 1320 Sierra. November 1320 Sierra.
So I'm just using the autopilot for the heading now and I'm flying descent. And I'm anticipating a right turn to intercept the ILS. Nikki Red, good afternoon, Logan 810 Romeo, descending 5 or 100 towards center pixel 1, 2, Embraer 135, Mike, in H1015. Logan 810 Romeo, Nikki Red, hello, identify deconfliction service, Spectre, and approach from me, 1, 2, information, Mike, human H is 1015. Deconfliction service, Spectre, is ILS 1, 2, Kin H1015, Logan 810 Romeo. November, Logan 810 Romeo, O navigation for now, stand by for Vectors, please. Go for Charlie Sierra, report to way with Jersey Zone. Uh, changing to Jersey, uh, thank you very much for your help. Go for Charlie Sierra. Yeah, I'll probably suggest you stay with me for a little bit longer, actually, probably another 20 miles or so. Oh, okay, will do. Go for Charlie Sierra. Sierra, turn right heading 040 degrees. Turn right 040, number 200. November 0, Sierra, just confirm your intentions after this one, please. I go around for another uh, vector dial. Actually, go, uh, go around for a. Um, yeah, another vector dial, less, please, 200. November 200, Sierra, we'll do after this approach, then it'll be climb straight ahead altitude 3000 feet, please. Climb straight ahead, altitude 3,000 feet off this approach, 200. Logan 810 Romeo, descend flight level 50. Descend flight level 50, Logan 810 Romeo. Still nerve-wracking. Scent keeps stopping for some reason. Things I'm worried about being over the sea. Yeah. November two zero zero. Turn right, heading at zero eight zero degrees. Turn right zero eight zero, November two zero zero. November two zero zero, descent right to two thousand feet and cleared for the ILS approach runway one two. Got cleared for the ILS runway one two. What was the first part of the instruction? Your correction, uh, flight heading zero eight zero degrees, and you are cleared for the ILS approach runway one two. Flight heading zero eight zero, cleared ILS runway one two, November two zero zero. Logan 810 Romeo, turn right 5 degrees, report new heading. Right 5 degrees, heading 250 degrees, Logan 810 Romeo. Logan 810 Romeo, Roger, approximately 44 track miles to run. Roger, 810 Romeo. And 810 Romeo, traffic you might see on TCAS, left 11 o'clock at 14 miles, tracking northbound is with me, coordinated below. Logan 810 Romeo. Sierra, request not above altitude 4,000 feet, QNH 1015. Golf Papa Sierra Nuki, request not above 4,000 feet, QNH 1015. Alright, I'm going to stay at 2,000 feet until I've intercepted the ILS. Localizer.
don't know if my ILS is working. DME's not working either. Golf Papa, Sierra Niki, radar radio check. Golf Papa, Sierra, uh, reading you five. So, uh, have you received Papa, Sierra? Yeah, reading you five, thanks. Request not above altitude 4,000 feet. A firm maintaining 3,000 on 1015, Golf Papa, Sierra. Roger. November 0 Sierra, 8 miles, contact the tower 134 decimal 380. 134 decimal 380, November 20 Sierra. Yuki Town, November 1320 Sierra. Station calling Yuki Town, say again. November 1320 Sierra. 320 Sierra, Yuki Town, continue approach from May 12. Continue approach from May 12, November 20 Sierra. I'm going to see whether or not not being able to identify until I was really close. Mike 1015, start approved, like 3 Bravo Echo. Is also why my ILS does not appear to be working. Localizer needle does not appear to be working because I am left track and it's saying that I'm right of track. Yeah. Both of them. Well, that makes this somewhat of a wasted journey. Slope's not working. Yuki, Golf Echo Brothers, ready for departure. Golf Echo Bravo, Roger, hold position. After departure, left turn out, and uh, not about 2,000 feet via fast, Cork 1744. After departure, left turn out, not about 2,000 feet, squawking 1744, and hold position, Golf Echo Bravo. Um, Golf Echo Bravo, correct hold position. November 2 Sierra, this traffic uh, looks to be airborne from St. Merrin. It's just the airfield north of the field by a couple of miles. It looks to be coasting out, coasting out uh, just north of the beach that you can see, just north of the airfield. Roger that, 2 Sierra, what level? Uh, no level information from the tower at the moment. Uh, it looks to be just airborne, so not too high. Roger that, 2 Sierra. Uh, also, I need to change my next um, approach type to an SRA, please, because my glide slope's not working. Uh, my ILS uh, localizer's not working. Number 200, Roger. Tamar 3, orbit left till advised. Orbit left till advised, Tamar 3. November 200, runway 12, clear touch and go, wind 1708 knots. Just going to do a low approach, clear to the low approach, November 200. November 200, AFM, clear to low approach. Just slow it down as if I was actually doing it. And straight ahead, 3,000 feet. set up my approach speed properly as I wanted to because I was distracted by the fact that my ILS is not working. It is working now, but only very close. Red screen's blue. Right, two zero zero going around. Roger. At number 200, climb straight ahead, altitude 2,500 feet. 
Clock start ahead, altitude, altitude 2,500 feet, November 10 zero zero. Tamer 3, you can roll out the orbit and report final. I'm uh, rolling out and we'll call final, Tamer 3. Confecker Bravo, can you accept the uh, early left turn? Hey, affirmative, Confecker Bravo. Confecker Bravo, after departure, what type of service do you need? Basic service, Confecker Bravo, and looking to climb to flight level 50. Confecker Bravo, Roger, line up runway 12. Line up 12, Confecker Bravo. Logan 3 Bravo, echo is ready for taxi. Logan 3 Bravo, echo, taxi hold Alpha 2. Taxi hold Alpha 2, Logan 3 Bravo, echo. Can you turn base now, please? Turning base now, turn my three. November 200 to radar 133 decimal 405. 133. 133405 for radar, November 200. November 1320 Sierra. November 1320 Sierra, Nikki Radar. Identified again, traffic service, and uh, continue straight ahead to altitude 2500 feet. Continue straight ahead to altitude 2500 feet, 200 Sierra, and uh, request an SRA this time. My uh, uh, localizer equipment not working correctly. Roger, yeah, stand by for that one. Transit contact Yuki Tower 134 decimal 380. Yuki Tower 134 decimal 380. Call big mic. Those clouds are nerve wracking. I was being thrown around all over the place. And
November 2070, right heading 300 degrees downwind. Right, 300 for downwind, 200. Lima Echo at the moment, it's looking like a downwind left hand join for Rummy 1 2, report there, third and sight. Tim Echo will report these in the field, uh, if possible, with like a uh, left ace check. The sequence at the moment looks like it's going to be a downwind left hand join, it's rather busy. Okay. Golf Sierra Charlie, report your position and level. Uh, Golf Sierra Charlie's nine miles northwest of Bodmin at 900 feet, 1016. Golf Sierra Charlie, Roger. Golf Sierra Charlie, yeah, report changing en route. We'll report en route, Golf Sierra Charlie. November 200, Sierra traffic 12 o'clock, 7 miles is a light aircraft. It is low level at the moment, uh, but coordinated on above 1500 feet, tracking north eastbound. Roger the traffic, uh, not sighted, November 200. Coast Guard 94, are you here with me? Go ahead, Coast Guard 94. Yeah, hi, is that you guys in there? Uh, if, uh, we just lifted to lift, now four persons on board. Uh, attention to actually to walk, work up towards um, Pentire Head, Mount to Campbell for training. Coast Guard 94, Roger, is that Pentire? It's not the Pentire one at Newquay, it's the, the other one on the other side. Hey, for Camel, Camel Estuary, uh, Coast Guard 94, uh, now Coast Guard 94. I have just realised what I've been doing wrong. There was nothing wrong with my ILS. I'm going to do the surveillance radar approach anyway, but I was on GPS. Not okay, another hard lesson. I was not on VLOC, I was on GPS. There's nothing wrong with my equipment. Many, many lessons. Go up here, I can tell you, you can read that password. TA-28, one POB, Perrinport to Perrinport via St. Mary's, will be following along the north coast. Uh, currently 1,100 feet on the QNH of 1015. I can tell you it was a basic service QNH is 1015. I now remember an instructor telling me about that. He called it a basic gotcha. QNH Always remember. Golf, like a Juliet. Coast Guard 94, basic service, there's traffic, uh, it's is, it is 12 o'clock at 5 miles, low level at the moment, looks like it's in the orbit, it's looking to route up the coast, it's a, uh, a Vans RV6, I think. Uh, basic service, uh, looking for that traffic, Coast Guard 94. Apologies, it's Zen Air Zodiac. Copy, Coast Guard 94. Tell you what, I'm really happy that I've got uh, fuel injection and I've got to worry about car heat on this flight. I am in the soup. Good, proper. Patchy visibility with the ground. I am downwind for Romney 1 2. Visual 
November November 1320 Sierra. The Q&H is 1015. Obstacle clearance altitude is 960 feet. Check your minima and missed approach point. Q&H 1015. Obstacle clearance minimum 960 feet is altitude. And your intentions after this approach, please. Uh, touch and go, return to Dunk as well, please, 200 Sierra. What level are you looking for? Uh, back up to 5,000, 200 Sierra. Remember 200 Sierra, so that's approved then, O navigation, uh, 5,000 feet. O navigation up to 5,000 feet after touch and go, November 200 Sierra. Great, hello, Logan, 3 Bravo, code 2400, climb the flight of 190, uh, runway track, Cork, runway extended, centre line 1-2. Logan 3 Bravo, can you create a hello identified deconfliction service? Deconfliction, Logan uh, 3 Bravo, echo. Logan 3 Bravo, echo, we are aware of your uh, requirements there, we're just trying to work on that one with the sectors at the moment. Well, thanks very much, appreciate that, 3 Bravo, echo. Logan 3 Bravo, echo, turn left heading 040 degrees. I said zero four zero Logan three Bravo back. November two zero zero descent about two thousand feet. Descent two thousand feet two zero zero. Logan three Bravo back. Every director Brecken. Director Brecken. Uh, Logan three Bravo back. Bravo, report approaching Launceston. Report approaching Launceston, go take a Bravo. November 20, Sierra, turn right heading 030 degrees, base lane. Right 030, 200. November 200, so I'll probably be taking you through the uh, extended sense line there for sequencing. Roger 200, Sierra. Golf Echo, Bravo, Squawk, Comms, Security, Free, Call, Exeter, on 128.980, bye-bye. Squawk, Comms, Security, and to Exeter, 128.980, bye. You can play, Golf Bravo, Zulu, Austin, Lima. Brothers of Oscar Lima, Nikki Radar, Squad 1737, pass message. Squad 1737, uh, Golf Brothers of Oscar Lima, Robin R3000, 1POB, St. Athen inbound, currently overhead Holdsworthy, 4,100 feet on 1015, request major service. Roger, basic service, information Mike, runway 12, QNH is 1015, report the airfield in sight. QNH 1015, uh, runway 12, we'll go uh, airfield in sight, Golf Oscar Lima. L Logan 3 Bravo, Echo Squawk 3773. 3773, Logan 3 Bravo, Echo. Even with the autopilot, this is challenging. I'm very happy I've got the autopilot. I honestly would be struggling. Two zero zero, turn right heading one five zero degrees. Right one five zero two zero zero. You can wait up. Let's go back to four. Push it to both heads. Uh, northeast bound. Request basic service, please. Let's go back to four. You can wait up. Basic service. 
I've never tried using the autopilot for holding my heading and level and doing turns. And it's, I have to say it's doing a really good job. I've just got that indication error. Which I but it's a known so I can adjust for that. Take your approach, call Victor Mike back with you and handle from tower, low level, five miles northwest of the field. Visual to Coast Guard 94, requesting a climb to 3,000 feet on 1015. Go Victor Mike, roger that is approved. Basic service, QNH 1015. Basic service, thanks, call Victor Mike.
Suzuki radar Gulf Sierra Charlie is five miles west of Launceston, requesting PC change now to Exeter, one two eight nine eight zero. Gulf Sierra Charlie, A firm score on security, bye. Uh, score on security, many thanks, bye. The Red Sierra Sierra, two miles, altitude should be nine seven zero feet. Approach complete, confirm visual. Two miles and yes, uh, confirming visual with runway two zero zero. Excellent. Contact the tower then. One three four decimal three eight zero. One three four three eight zero for the tower. Thanks, Bye. Yuki Tower, November one three two zero zero. Touch and go. November one three two zero zero. Yuki Tower, one two. Clear touch and go. One six zero degrees eight knots. Clear touch and go. Runway one two. November two zero zero. Red screens. Blues. Half flaps open. November after departure, what type of service? Uh, traffic service, Gulf Charlie November. Roger. Charlie November via Bravo, line up and wait, runway 1 2. Via Bravo, line, one, line up and wait, 1 2, go for Charlie November. November traffic in the climb out, Cessna 182 is departing to the east and northeast, also climbing a flight level 5 zero. Copy traffic and visual currently, Gulf Charlie November. Gulf Charlie November, runway 12, clear for takeoff, 1509 knots. Clear for takeoff, runway 12, Gulf Charlie November. Uh, 200, just checking I'm okay with my own navigation now. 133 decimal 405. Is that uh, 133 decimal 405 for 200 Sierra? 200 Sierra, 133 405. Roger, thanks, Brian. Nuki radar, November 1320 uh, Sierra. November 200 Sierra, Nuki radar, hello again, identified on departure traffic service. Roger, traffic service 200 Sierra, climbing 5000 feet. Roger. Papa Sierra reports your level, QH 1015. Golf Papa Sierra maintaining 1700 feet. I'd actually like to change to uh, safety com 135480 for Roach. I have the airfield inside Golf Papa Sierra. Golf Papa Sierra, Roger, Cessna 182 is about to overfly you at least 1000 feet above eastbound. Score com security, bye. Thanks very much, bye. And November 200, that's a light aircraft uh, below you, 1500 feet left, 10 o'clock, 3 miles southbound. 
Burn the traffic. Uh, I'm on top of the clouds now. I can't see him. Two zero zero. Roger. Yuki Golf Victor Mike, uh, four miles to run to Bobman. Request figures to change one two zero decimal three three zero. Victor Mike approved. Squawk Conspicuity. Bye. Conspicuity and thanks for that. Golf Victor Mike. Thank you, Radar, Golf Bravo, Sierra, Charlie, November, squawking 1740. Golf Bravo, Sierra, Charlie, November, and Yuki Radar identified on departure traffic service. Report your level. Traffic service uh, passing through 2000 for 5000 or 1015, Golf Charlie, November. Golf Charlie, November, Roger. Traffic, 12 o'clock, 3 miles, same direction, climbing to the same level, Cessna 182. Uh, perhaps we'll uh, level off at 4,500, Golf Charlie November. Golf Charlie November, Roger. November 200, traffic behind you by a couple of miles, TB20, a little bit faster, stopping 500 feet uh, below your cruising level. Let me know if you go any lower, if you level out any lower than 5,000 feet. Roger the traffic, and I'll be levelling out not below 5,000 feet, 200. Golf Oscar Lima, it's overhead Port Isaac, uh, if possible looking to route in uh, left base for 1 2. Golf Oscar Lima, left base join approved, report field in sight. Wilco field in sight, uh, so left base 1 2, Golf Oscar Lima. Radar, good afternoon. Golf uh, Bravo Echo Uniform India. Golf Bravo Echo Uniform India, Yuki. Afternoon, flash your message. Golf Bravo Echo Uniform India, Fiber Cup, uh, just airborne from Parent 4. We're routing uh, Roche uh, via St. Genesis at uh, level 9 Cape Cod, Golf Bravo Echo Uniform India, Fiber Cup, Roche. Golf Uniform India, Roger, basic service, QNH 1015. Basic 1015, uh, Uniform India. And sorry, I heard Roach via somewhere. Where was it via? Well, we'll route via the 
by uh, by the quarry at uh, the journey. Uniform India, Roger. I'm actually really, really glad I did this today. Call Foscalima, Lima, contact Tower 134, Decimal 380. Just a purely training flight on my own, not trying to get from A to B so there's no get the rightus, no external factors affecting it at all. I thought about not recording, not, not videoing this flight, but I'm really glad I did because honestly, this is going to be great footage to watch back and, and remind myself of the mistakes and of the unknowns. I mean, I, I felt safe at every time, at all times, uh, if a little bit challenged, but that's the whole point of doing this, is to challenge yourself, isn't it? Um, but I did feel challenged, but not overly challenged. I didn't feel outside my limits. My biggest stupid mistake was not putting V-lock on the garments, and they're wondering why I couldn't ident. Which obviously that's affected. Uh, and as soon as I put it on the V-lock, suddenly the the um, both of the ILS and glide slopes began working normally. Uh, the ADF worked fine, but my ADF either the display is flickering or the power supply is flickering because it's got this weird flicker to it. My DME, which works sometimes and not others, has given me absolutely nothing today. My autopilot has pleasantly surprised me. Two things I've learned. It will hold my heading and altitude, even in... Uh, and it will hold my heading, even if I'm changing my altitude, if I'm climbing or descending. And I worked out that if you turn the heading bug more than 180 degrees from your track, it cancels the turn. I thought it was something wrong with it, but I now understand why it's done that. And as soon as I turn the heading back inside 180 degrees, so when I had to make my teardrop turn to take up the hole, that was a greater than 180 degree turn. That was probably a 220 degree turn. Hence, turning the autopilot heading bug further than 180 degrees. So I had to turn it gradually, halfway and then again. Um, I need a stopwatch. I need a proper stopwatch for taking up the hold. Uh, make a note of that. Stopwatch. Um, I think I've seen that some people just glue a stopwatch to your panel, which makes sense. Good idea. Put space for it there. I could do that. Um, I'm interested to watch this back to find out whether or not it was my mistake or the controller's mistake that he thought I was just doing a procedural ILS. I thought I was doing a vectored ILS. So I want to listen back and find out whether or not I asked for a vectored ILS or not. And whether that was my mistake or not. Um, my memory, I asked for a vectored ILS. 
Uh, so it may have been a misunderstanding his end. Um, I did cancel the autopilot on my SRA and was wondering why I couldn't descend. I wanted to keep the autopilot powered on to keep up to hold my heading, um, but I, I needed to cancel the altitude hold. Um, next time I do that, I'm going to do vectored ILS, procedural ILS, and then an SRA. Uh, this flight has already been approaching two hours. So I started the engine, which is why I'm heading back. Beautiful evening. Um, but I've learnt a lot. I've learnt about radio calls. I've learnt about. November two zero zero, Squawk zero four one six. Squawking 0416, November 20 Sierra. He's about to hand me back to extra, I think. Oh, I've got that TBM just behind me down there. He's going to overtake me. Yeah, the previously mentioned TB20, very slowly catching you up. Um, if they do overtake, it looks like it'll be down the right-hand side. You'll both be working Exeter soon, and they're 500 feet below your level. Roger, I've got that traffic on my conspicuity display, but not sighted visually. 200 November 200 Roger, contact Exeter radar, 123.580. Goodbye. 123580 for Exeter, 200 Bye-bye. Exeter Radar, November 1320 Sierra. November 1320 Sierra, Exeter Radar, identified traffic service. Exeter QNH 1015. Roger, traffic service and QNH 1015, November 1320 Sierra. Yeah, I can just hear my. Yeah, he's overtaking me very slowly. Just creeping up onto the, the the radar display of the guy echo. It's getting closer to me as well. Oh, I know. I'm going to turn on track as well. Beautiful evening.
extra radar, Gulf Bravo, Sierra Charlie, November, 9 miles west of Orbux, 4500-1015, Squawk King, 0404. Gulf Bravo, Sierra Charlie, November, extra radar, identified, traffic service. Traffic service, Gulf Charlie, November. Gulf Charlie, November. New Cuba recorded there, Cessna 182 traffic in your left, 10 o'clock range of 3 miles, similar direction, uh, to 5,000 feet. Roger, and visual with traffic, go for Charlie and Bedford. He can see me. So it's good. So know that he can see me. Very beautiful spot here. Excellent radar, Golf Charlie, Charlie, Zulu, X-ray. Uh, currently level at 2,000 feet, uh, requesting basic service. Golf Charlie, Charlie, Zulu, X-ray, extra radar, basic service. Basic service, Golf Zulu, X-ray. Uh, much, much more practice still needed, obviously, but every single time I do a session like this, I, I just feel like it's, uh, I'm going to be that much less nervous. I had to get over that, I had to really crest that hump of reluctance, you know, I was having a lovely, relaxed Sunday morning at home. I even said to Anne-Marie, I'm tempted to just lie on the sofa and watch telly this afternoon and have a nice, relaxing Sunday afternoon in front of the fire. Um, but I thought, how many times do I get a chance to just go out on my own, practice some instrument flying? The plane was ready, everything was okay, and I thought, right, let's do it. So I did it. But it's a really, it's a big surprise to me constantly how much the psychology of um, being a pilot can stand in your own way sometimes. Because you know how risky it can be, you know what's involved, you know how hard work it is, you know how stressful, how challenging it is. So when you're having a nice, comfy, relaxing Sunday morning, <laughs> after a long, busy week, putting yourself through the ringer for this, voluntarily, without someone going, go on, do it. But if I ever want to get my full, if I ever want to get my full instrument rating, um, I've got to get off my ass, improve my basic instrument flying skills, get competent and confident with ILS approaches, procedures, vectors, SRAs, get confident and competent with my equipment, and then, then I'll be ready to go and do the theory for the full IR, um, and the practical for the full IR, and to do my CBIR. But it's, it's a major barrier to my desire to want to fly more internationally, uh, you know, and, and get where I want to go. So. I'm my own worst enemy if I don't practice hard enough, fast enough. I say it's one of the, it's, honestly, it's one of the biggest, but yet most invisible barriers to progressing the pilot training. Unless you're going to be a commercial airline pilot, which obviously that's different. What is just for a, effectively a recreational goal? It's very easy to, to let it slip and slide. It takes real commitment. But the thing that really tipped me over the edge on the side of doing it today was that. Sorry, second. The thing that tipped me over the edge to make me do it today was that if I, you know, if I, on a day like today when I got the opportunity to do it, if I don't do it, I'm never going to do it. So if I don't do it today, never going to do it. Do it today. Done it today. So I'm going to wrap up this episode while I'm still in the sky. I've got 27 miles to run to dunk as well. Probably just run it as a high speed fast forward until I'm on the ground now to wrap the end the vlog. Um, but thank you, all of you who've subscribed. 
It's quite daunting because some of you are a very judgmental lot, but that's okay. <laughs> um, it's not fun when you get harsh judgment from people, but it is good for you. It's sort of like a tough love, isn't it? Um, but nine out of ten of the people commenting are more than that. More than 90% of you are supportive and friendly and helpful. Uh, and the other five to ten percent of you, you're quite right. You're absolutely within your rights to call me out on my mistakes. You know, it's just uncomfortable. But expanding outside your comfort zone is by definition uncomfortable. So please don't stop. As long as it's constructive, I can handle it. If you just want to be mean, I can handle that too. Just ignore it. But uh, if you're being constructive, no matter how harsh it is, I can handle that. So keep it coming. Thank you guys. I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.